What's up, y'all? We have some exciting news, for some people anyway, out of the Schlage factory. Now, Schlage deadbolts, we've done tons of videos on Schlage deadbolts and Schlage door locks. And uh, these are the Schlage, which were originally called Schlage by Dexter. Now they're just called, I think, Builder's Quality Schlage. They are the less expensive Schlage. We've done product differences and videos uh, on that, on Schlage and uh, latches. However, I just noticed something. I had a old Schlage Dexter lock and I just got a new Schlage Dexter lock. Both of them are labeled the same thing. Let's take a look. JD, what is it? JD 60 BB 716, JD 60 716. Everything is exactly the same. However, there is a huge difference in these two deadbolts. So let's take a look at those differences. Now, as I mentioned there, this one was purchased about uh, two months ago. This one we just purchased, one of the two. And again, these are the builder's quality. These are less expensive than the actual Schlage brand locks. And uh, they're designed to really compete with the, the big box locks like Gatehouse and uh, maybe even Quickset or Defiant or other things. And we're gonna go ahead and take out the older version because these look exactly the same. And we're gonna show you what we're all familiar with. Anybody who has uh, used Schlage by Dexter, which of course, again, is, is builder's quality. It's, it's a lesser expensive option. And we can see your standard cross style tailpiece with the flat bar that goes through. This is very common of LSDA uh, locks, uh, which we've done plenty of videos on those as well. And uh, you know, when you turn your key, ah, when you turn your key, it throws a deadbolt flat tailpiece. Now, if we go back to this video, which I will also link in the top right corner, about me being impressed with Defiant locks because typically on the Defiant brand locks, and I'm sure any of you locksmiths have probably dozens of pictures. I have several pictures. I'm going to go try to go through my files real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing it. Trying to find the twist. So what you come up on is you take the interior off and this is poking through the latch. You know, it, it goes through the latch and intersects with the thumb turn. But when a door shifts and it gets hard to lock, people turn that thumb turn and it torques this bar. Now, Schlage Dexter was never, 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 never as bad as twisting as uh, the original Defiant. Original Defiant had the same setup and you would often walk up to it and this bar was made such of a soft metal that over time i've seen these twisted over 360 degrees which puts the twist all in this area which means you cannot pull it out because it is all twisted so you have to take a pair of pliers with it still in the door and you have to bend it all back into shape again it was very very common with defiant brand deadbolts and then Defiant came along, as in the video that I'm showing you, and they changed it. And I was incredibly impressed that they realized that there was a problem with the soft metal and people doing that. So they totally redesigned their locks to have, as in that video shows, a thicker tailpiece, very similar to Quickset, but not quite the same. Well, I had, had to pick up four of these for a job uh, just the other day, this one had been in my truck for a minute, and uh, I picked these new ones up for a job, and lo and behold, look what we have. We have Schlage Defiant. They jumped on the bandwagon. So does that mean they come out of the same factory? These are... Uh, 
these don't really specify where they come out of, but check it out. We indeed have defiant style tailpieces. Now this is this is very unique. This is very interesting. Um, you would think that Defiant maybe would have uh, uh, patented this, but apparently they didn't. Another thing I've noticed is, is that these, these cylinders lock in much harder. Like, it is really hard. It'll go out uh, with a lot of force, whereas these uh, slip in and out much easier, the older style. I don't know what that's about really, but that's not really that big of a deal. What is the big deal is Schlage has jumped on the bandwagon and presumably after all the old stock is out, we won't have the cross latches anymore. They will shift strictly to this style of latch. So that is good because as Defiant changed it when I gave them kudos, they uh, this would significantly i can't see this twisting like it did previously i mean it's a thicker bar thicker thing so you know the problem what we're going to have in uh, this is great right now okay however the problem you're going to have is say you get to a house and it's got a, a uh, the old style defiant or or uh schleg dexter deadbolt with the cross and uh, you just need to replace the latch. Those latches are gonna fade away and we're gonna be stuck with these latches cross compatible. So right now we are really in a transition period for Schlage Dexter locks because when this happens, whenever, whenever locks decide to change things as we've found out from the B360 series, thank God they got rid of those from the B160 series. After a certain period of time, the latches or whatever break and the new latches obviously are not gonna work with the old style. And now of course, these are so inexpensive. It's very kind of almost pointless to do part replacement because these are at such a low price point uh, it's uh, invariably it's better just to sell them a whole new lot. So as far as having to deal with you know different latches, it's going to be kind of an issue as they phase out the old stock with the new stock. However, if you are about to buy Schlage Dexter deadbolts, be aware that they have indeed changed the latches so that the flat bar will be less likely to twist in, which is a great thing. Very interesting that they took the same design that Defiant has. I've not compared a Defiant deadbolt to this same thing, but it appears to be very similar. However, as you see, if I can get the light on it, it is definitely Schlag branded. So that is just a quick update on something I just discovered and I have not seen anybody else talk about it. All Schlag, all Schlag Dexter, builder's quality. And uh, yes, they have apparently, even though we, I personally very rarely see the Schlag brand twist and we saw it all the time with Defiant. That's why we gave Defiant kudos in that video because they took the incentive to fix the problem by making a thicker tailpiece, changing the whole latch design. And apparently Schlag either gets these from the same factory or somehow infringed on their patent or made a deal with them. But whatever the case is, we are now at the point where Schlage Dexter is the same thing as Defiant Locks with just a couple of minor differences. Uh, one being Defiant is a quick set QA, Schlage is a Schlage QA. So very interesting information. I thought I would share it with you because I just noticed it the other day when I was putting these on, I looked at it and I was like, wait, where did this come from? So again, the newest thing, the most exciting thing out of the Schlage factory or the Taiwan factory that they get these from is the difference in the tail pieces, the difference in the latches. And of course, again, one day for the next two or three years while they're phasing in new product, phasing in out product, long story short, if you have one of these tailpiece bends or breaks, 
you're just going to have to replace it, which again is not that big of a deal because they are budget quality locks. So I just wanted to update you guys on that, that we now have Schlage different mechanisms. And uh, yeah, just be aware. Of course, I always recommend Schlage uh, original because it's much better as in some of the videos I've already done. However, I just wanted to update you guys because again, I just noticed this on a job install. So be aware, depending on whether you're buying old stock or new stock, you're gonna get one or the other, or maybe even a combination of both. So just be aware of that. Maybe if you uh, are able to go pick up product, maybe you check it out and see which one. These will obviously be better, not likely to bend as much, even though the old Schlage Dexter did not bend nearly as bad as the old Defiant with the flat bar. But again, kudos to Defiant, going back to that. Uh, kudos for Schlage for uh, avoiding the problem of that and making the thicker tailpiece. Hopefully we will be able to sort all this out. I don't know, you know, their production capacity and restocking with distributors. Um, and other sales places that sell brands like this. Um, I just wanted everybody here to be aware that yes, we have changed. This is pretty big news coming out of the cheap Schlage department. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them in the comments section. We appreciate you guys being here. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed getting this information, be sure and hit that like button and subscribe right here at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch y'all next video. Oh, and one last thing I realized as I was putting them up. This is the thumb turn from the old style with the flat bar. And this is the thumb turn from the new style. And you see, we have the same thumb turn. So you can take the thumb turn at least is compatible, which is also very interesting. So if we take our thumb turn here, you have a wider, kind of, a, well, let's get in the light here, wider opening. So ideally you would be using it like this instead of like that, because that won't go in that way. But this one will fit. So, very interesting. The thumb turn is still compatible. Uh, just another interesting little tidbit on that. So, anyway, again, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, y'all, thanks for watching. Make sure and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, there's a link up here in the top corner to subscribe to the channel. If you have not done so, make sure and hit that bell notification so you know instantly when we upload the newest content. Thanks again for being here. We really appreciate all y'all who watch our videos. So make sure and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will catch you next video.